so cute. Oh, it's, oh, it's smiling. Mm -hmm. This is Amy. the biggest misperceptions about adoptions, things you'd like to clear up? A lot of people think that the animals that we get in here have problems, and really it's the people problems that brought them here. Mm. Um, so, you know, a lot of our animals are absolutely perfect, and they've just not fallen into the right hands. Mm. You, we, we saw a video a little earlier of the little girl. I mean, that really nothing says it better than, than she did, playing there. You just kind of wish everyone could feel that joy uh, talk about that a little bit and, and when you see those faces come in. Uh, well, we get a lot of times where they've, you know, researched the pet, they've looked on the internet, mm -hmm. they show up first thing Tuesday morning when we open and they just know that that's the right pet for them. Some people come and find a pet and they have to go home and think about it and then they'll call us in the middle of the night and leave a message and say, I have to have that pet so they can come adopt it. You talk about the internet. Import, I mean, the day we live in, do you encourage people to Look, before you come down here, go on our website, take a look at everything, take a look at the kind of dogs you might want. I mean, what, how do you... Really, honestly, I want them mm -hmm. to come here and see, get the personality they're looking for, not the look of the pet, but the personality. Because that, that makes a big difference. And you can't, you just can't get that online. You can't get that, but you can identify who has what and uh, what you're looking for, especially if you're looking for a particular breed or, a, you know, they classify it in baby is, or older or senior. We had a man come in earlier today, drove from Greenville to adopt an eight and a ten year old dog. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. Nice. You, you talk about uh, this time of year, the holidays. There's so much that you hear about people wanting to adopt somebody for somebody else. Mm -hmm. uh, give somebody a, a puppy. Give a talk about that and your views on it. The the DFW Humane Society's view on it. Well, we really want the person that's going to be responsible for the pet and taking care of the pet for the rest of the life to make the decision on what pet they adopt, because that's very important. If the personalities clash, we really don't want them adopting for somebody else. They may not be ready for a pet. They may that may not be the pet they pick for themselves. So we encourage everybody to come down here and make a decision from there. So don't come here the day before Christmas or a week or two before and, and come out and pick a puppy and say, we're gonna give this to our daughter at, at blah, 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 and so blank and. Well, if you're, if you're adopting it as a family pet, then right, obviously the parents have already made the commitment to take on the responsibility of that pet. You can't realistically expect a child to do that. You talked about finding a pet uh, whose personality you like. Is there a correlation between people's personality and the pets they like? Um, yeah, actually, between their lifestyle. I mean, when they come here, we yeah. want them to pick a dog that the breed is, you know, the same as their lifestyle. I mean, I'm a perfect example. My household is very laid back, very relaxed. I adopted a puppy and a boxer puppy, and probably the wrong thing to do for my lifestyle because I've had to change my lifestyle to accommodate the dogs. So, you know, hopefully other people will do that yeah. in order to keep the dog, but it's been a major adjustment. So I would probably do better with a more mellow dog mm -hmm. coming into my household and less of a transition for me, but it worked. How did you decide on him of all dogs? Uh, you know, we had a chocolate lab for nine years yeah. and uh, I just have always liked the look of him. I always liked yeah. the look of the Mastiff yeah. and I've been looking and looking and I found, it, found him last week and <laughs> Oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Did you find him online or here first? Pet Tango. 
I downloaded an app. I was going on Pet Finder, and uh, they had a little thing at the bottom of it that said, hey, check out this app. So, like everything, you download the app, uh -huh. and then found it on there, just did a little search, and there you go. For Mastiff, and then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, it's it worked out pretty great. good. Congratulations. Right, Congratulations. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, thanks.